Look at that little kitty. A pale blue dot. That's our home. Blue dot? Yes. That's what one of my heroes called our Earth. Hero? <gasps> An amazing scientist who helped us see the universe in a whole new way. So while we make our way back, let me tell you the incredible story of Carl Sagan. Zoom in! Carl Sagan was born on 9th November 1934 in Brooklyn, New York. From an early age, he spent countless hours reading books about the universe, dreaming about life on other worlds and asking big questions. What's out there? Are we alone? This endless curiosity would shape his entire life. At just 16, Sagan graduated from high school and went to the University of Chicago to study physics. By the age of 21 in 1955, he had already earned his bachelor's degree. A year later, he completed his master's and by 26 in 1960, he earned his PhD in astronomy and astrophysics. After completing his education, Sagan worked as a scientist from 1960 to 1962 at the University of California, Berkeley. And then at Harvard, he focused on studying planets like Venus and Jupiter. But what fascinated him most was the idea of life beyond Earth. Could we actually find life on other planets? To find the answer, Sagan ran groundbreaking experiments showing how the building blocks of life, amino acids and nucleic acids, could form from simple chemicals when exposed to ultraviolet light, similar to conditions in space. He also became involved with SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Many doubted the program's success, thinking it was a waste of time and resources. But Sagan remained firm in his belief that in such a vast universe, the possibilities were endless. In 1968, at 34, Sagan became the director of the laboratory for planetary studies at Cornell University. By 1971, he was a full professor there. At Cornell, Sagan played a key role in helping NASA choose landing sites for the Viking missions to Mars. He even helped design the messages sent into space on the Pioneer and Voyager probes, just in case intelligent extraterrestrial life ever found them. But Sagan wasn't just a brilliant scientist. He was also an extraordinary communicator. In 1973, he published The Cosmic Connection, one of his first books written for the general public, which helped boost his popularity. His biggest breakthrough, however, came in 1980, when he co-wrote and hosted the TV series Cosmos, A Personal Voyage. Cosmos became one of the most watched science programs in history, inspiring millions of people to think more deeply about the universe. The companion book Cosmos also became a bestseller. Sagan didn't only think about space, he cared deeply about Earth too. In the 1980s, he spoke out against nuclear weapons, warning that a nuclear war could lead to a nuclear winter, a dramatic cooling of Earth that could threaten all life. He wrote several books raising awareness of this danger, hoping to inspire people to protect our planet. Even in his later years, Sagan remained a champion of science and reason. In 1996, 
he published The Demon Haunted World, warning against the rise of superstition and encouraging critical thinking and trust in scientific evidence. Sadly, Carl Sagan passed away at the age of 62 on December 20th, 1996 in Seattle, Washington from complications of a bone marrow disease. Although he is no longer with us, his work continues to inspire people of all ages to explore the universe, ask big questions and never stop being curious. Trivia time! Did you know Carl Sagan helped create the first message sent into space for aliens? Also, Sagan's show Cosmos was watched by over 500 million people. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Musta Yin. I hope you felt inspired today. And before I zoom out, let me leave you with one of Carl Sagan's most powerful quotes. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. So, keep looking up, my friends.